Uh, the Dow is up 57. Uh, Bob Pisani here at the NYSC. Morning, BP. You know, it's starting to feel a little bit more like normal with the three of you guys back. Subways are a little more crowded. Highways a little more crowded. It's good to see you back. I'm very happy about that, folks. Uh, Flattish open, let's call it that. That's what it is. We're right near a new high. 42.32, that was the old high. That was way back on May 7th. Sideways since then, but we're at the top end of the range. Everything is moving. Europe just closed at a new high. It was right near a new high today with the stock 600. That's what you want to watch. So two or three points away from a, a new high. Let's call it close enough. And the reason we've been doing so well is not just rotation. Essentially, everything has been up. Look at the sectors. We have new highs at the close on Friday. We had new highs in energy. Uh, oil was at a two-and-a-half-year high. Financials are at a new high. Uh, bank stocks were at a new high. Uh, healthcare lagging a little bit. Tech stocks, 2%. Uh, from a historic high there. So we got cyclicals moving up. We have uh, defensive names uh, like consumer staples hitting new highs as well. The whole market has been essentially rallying. The big story is essentially are we at over this Goldilocks scenario that we've been talking about. And so far, it's been holding up perfectly well for everybody. Pandemic is receding at this point. Uh, tax concerns are notably lower here. Biden's ta essentially taken the corporate tax uh, issue off the table. Bond yields have been notably lower here and not been moving in part because the prospect of enormous new spending is receding a little bit here. And inflation seems to be peaking in some way here. The big story is the earnings situation. If you're wondering why are we still at new highs, the numbers keep going up and they're going up dramatically. So for the second quarter, look at this. 54% on the beginning of April, we were going to be up for year over year. That's enormous. Today, it's 62 percent. They keep knocking the numbers up. Even Q3 has gone from 19 to 24 percent, and it's going to go higher. I know people who now have 70 percent increases for the second quarter, 75 percent. When you get those kinds of numbers overall, that pushes the market up, pushes the expectations up. You think at this point the analysts would finally get this right, Carl, that they finally stop underestimating, but they're still doing it, and the numbers keep rising, and that is the primary mover for the market. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.